Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we're taking a look at the Power Mat two times rechargeable mat. You can get this guy for about $130. What it is, we've actually looked at Power Mat before on the show. It enables wireless charging through magnetic induction um, with a compatible case. We'll discuss the cases in a moment. Uh, the difference here is this actually has a 7,800 uh, 7, milliamp hour battery inside here, which is good for basically four full charges of your iPhone. We'll lay it down like this. So you can actually use this when you're traveling. Uh, like I say, with the battery here, you can charge up your devices a couple of times if you have a couple of different phones, or you can charge up your Bluetooth headsets, that kind of stuff. We look on the side here. We have a power button that we need to turn on in order to enable the wireless charging. And we also, it also gives us a view on how much battery power we have in there. So you can see this one's full right now. We can also use it plugged in with the included adapter, which is this one here. So we can use this sitting beside our bedside, um, just keep it there and then throw our devices down to charge them at the end of the day. And then when we're traveling, this thing will be fully charged, we can just take it with us. So we can charge it in our hotel room, but also charge on the plane using the included battery. Now it comes with what's called the power cube, which allows us to um, charge a variety of devices. If we take this out of the shop for a second, I'll pull out the USB connection, which is right here. So now we can just place this on one of the available ports. You hear it, uh, that sound and that light indicates that uh, we have a connection. Now we can plug this um, mini B USB into any number of different tips that come with the device. So here we have several of the tips. We have one for your iPhone. This is a mini B to micro B USB. Sony Ericsson, Nintendo DS uh, Lite. A couple of different uh, adapter tips here. To really make this like a proper wireless charging solution, so you don't have to bother with the power cube and, um, and all, this, uh, all these extra tips, you'll want to get uh, a power mat case. This is the power mat receiver case for iPhone 4. You can get this guy for about $40. Now, as you can see here, it is uh, fairly thin. If we look at a previous generation of power mat case, this is the power mat case for the iPhone 3G, 3GS, uh, which came out with the previous generation of power mats. So you can see here that the uh, receiver case on the back is actually quite a bit bigger. So they've gone a long way towards actually miniaturizing the technology. You can see um, the actual iPhone is, if we pull the flap off here. Hold on a second, there we go. So it's not uh, too, too much thicker than the actual iPhone itself. It adds a couple millimeters to it, um, which is you know, probably acceptable for the wireless charging that it unlocks. Now this is also a, a new feature, uh, having this door here that allows us easy access to our iPhone. Um, because while we, are, we have enabled wireless charging now, if we put the uh, phone down like this, you see we're now charging the iPhone, we don't actually have access to the 30-pin connector because that's taken up, obviously, on the inside of the case here. So in order to sync our device, we'll need to use uh, this micro-B USB connection here. Uh, inside the box of the case, you do get one of these micro-B USB cables. However, for all your dock accessories and stuff, this kind of feature where you can actually pop the top off and pull your cell phone out like this is, uh, is quite a nice touch um, if, you, if you've already invested in, a, in an iPod dock. So that's a quick look at the Power Mat 2 times rechargeable mat and the receiver case for iPhone 4. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com.